Now your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Hopefully your day's off to a great start. We had the rain chances from last night and early this morning, leaving us with mostly cloudy skies. As we take a live look this morning over beautiful downtown Rockford, temperature-wise, a little bit cooler than yesterday, thanks to uh, northerly winds behind that system uh, pulling in some cooler air. You can see temperatures for most of us in the low to mid-30s. Rockford right now sitting at 37 degrees. But with that wind out there, you can see winds are light and even calm in a couple of spots, but that wind even even though it's very light, makes all the difference on how the air actually feels. Wind chills are in the upper 20s and low 30s across much of the area, so we do have that chill out there. Uh, so just make sure before heading out the door that you grab that jacket, and then you should be good to go if you're going to be heading out on the roads this morning. Overall, though, that rain from last night did leave the area as that low pressure system pulled away. And also with that low pressure system, it took the breeze with it. So we're looking at very light winds uh, this morning as that low pressure system now makes its way over the Great Lakes and even into upstate New York, leaving us with dry conditions for right now under mostly cloudy skies. We are going to hold on to the cloud cover for a little bit as we head towards midday, but then we'll see a little dry air make its way in, allowing for a mix of clouds and sunshine, so a few peaks of afternoon sun, seasonable temperatures in the low 50s, right around where we should be uh, for this time of year, and then we should end the day with a quiet evening commute. Let's take a look at all of that using Futurecast. You can see we do stay mostly cloudy into midday. There'll be a few peaks of sunshine during the afternoon, but overall we do stay dry uh, for the end of the work week. Now clouds will be pretty quick to move back in as we head into tonight, there could be an isolated shower after midnight, but rain chances become more widespread as we head towards sunrise on Saturday morning. Now, there could be a few pockets of heavier rain, but overall, we should get a break by noontime and then see scattered showers move in throughout the afternoon and into the evening with a cold front. That's going to be moving through Saturday night into Sunday. Now, overall, I do think we pick up another uh, quarter to a half inch of rainfall on top of what we've gotten so far uh, throughout this rainy week here in the state line. But I do have good news as far as the forecast is concerned going into next week. We're going to have a ridge of high pressure pushing the jet stream all the way up into southern Canada. And that's going to allow some very warm air to make its way in across the Midwest and also the Great Lakes region. So we're going to stay seasonable today and then also drop in temperatures as we head towards the end of the weekend. But take a look at how warm we get going into the start of next week. We got low 60s moving in for Monday and Tuesday. We also got a decent amount of sunshine thanks to that area of high pressure moving in. Then we'll see rain chances return as we head into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Back to you.